I'm Chris from Estuary Cleaning, Clean Winds of the File Coast. Thanks to everyone that has liked, shared and subscribed. Uh, if you want a notification when we make a video, click the subscribe and the bell icon at the bottom of the screen to get notified when I make a video. So, I wanted to put a video up today um, and talk about where I was when I started my business, where I am right now and where I'm going in the future. Okay, so when I very first started, for those of you who don't know, um, I had a number of part-time jobs. I was struggling to make ends meet, struggling to put food on the table, and uh, ultimately um, something had to give. And um, I started a window cleaning round amongst other um, jobs. I was doing all sorts. I was doing rubbish disposal. I was doing um, car valeting, etc., etc. All these kind, anything to make um, ends meet. And ultimately, I fell upon window cleaning. And um, when I was at uni, I did window cleaning for a little bit, had a bit of a break from it, went to do my job, you know, to, to another job. Um, and ultimately, um, Credit Crunch came along, swept the board, and ultimately I lost hours and my rent got increased. Um, and basically, we've got to a point where we effectively lost our home and uh, we had to move uh, home to Blackpool from Preston. So from there, I basically started a window cleaning business and you know, I it basically took off. I, I didn't even have a ladder, I had a bucket and I did, um, I had a bucket and a squeegee, etc. And I did bungalows and the likes and I did gutter clearing. And when I eventually got enough money together, I started doing gutter clearing and all that sort of stuff. And from there was the sort of, you know, the bones, if you like, of a business. And over time, the window cleaning business got busier and I started letting go of other um, jobs that weren't as lucrative or I just didn't want to do. And it's now at the point where um, I grew that business. I was a one man band. And if you'd have asked me back then, you know, what my goals were, my goals were basically to put food on the table and to ultimately um not have the worry of stress of where my next meal is coming from, where you know, am I going to be able to you know pay rent? Am I going to be able to feed my children, etc.? My main goal back then was to achieve all of those things, and in not a long time, to be honest with you, within the space of a year, it got to the point where I knew this was really successful, and it was starting to take off, and I was making a good chunk of money. I was working hard. I was doing long days, but I was bringing home, you know, a good amount of money, uh, enough to pay the rent, pay the bills, um, you know, put food on the table and have a good chunk of money to put away. Um, and, you know, I was happy as Larry. And, you know, the stress levels went down. Everything was great. And I could have quite happily stayed there. And that was, to be fair, when I very first started, if you'd have offered me that and nothing else, I'd have been quite happy to just stay there. And say right, well, that, that this is me till I retire now. One man operation, just me uh, and a van. Go around do my thing, and then when I retire, just sell up. That's that done. And if you'd have asked me back then, that's exactly what I would have done. But as is with life in general, um, your priorities shift, your goals change, and you adapt as a human being. Now these changes can be positive or negative. Um, but my aims and goals are not the same as they were five years ago. Five years ago, I just wanted to make money. I just wanted to feed my children. I just wanted to be able to look myself in the mirror and go, yeah, proud of that. Happy days. So managed to achieve that and then was going out, doing the work, earning the cash, etc., etc., building up a good chunk of a good reserve, if you like, of money. And then... I looked at it and I thought to myself, really, I could do with bringing someone in to help me out. Um, I did. I took my first guy in. Um, and, you know, the days were, um, I took a slight pay cut to bring a guy in um, and experimented, you know, if you like. You know, he, he found himself out of this young lad called Steve, found himself out of work in much the same way that I did. Um, asked me if I had any work, and I said, well, we can certainly try. Um, I said, we'll try you out and see how you get on. We tried it, we tried it out. The system that we got, you know, really, really worked. Um, and from there, I, my ideas then started to flourish as to 
this is a serious business. You know what I mean? I knew it was a serious business. I knew it was a serious way of making money. But I had no idea that it was a serious business. You could make some really, really good money doing window cleaning. Okay? And, you know, so the idea then flourished from there. Says, right, well, I'll, you know, stick it with a two-man operation then. Life's a bit easier. I can do. I can do a bit more work. I can still earn a bit more money. Happy days, and then you know, um, it got me to thinking. Well, actually, I need to free up a bit of time to run the business now because we've got to a point where more work's coming in, and we need. I need either to bring someone in to do the, the admin, or I have to do the admin. And if I do the admin, then it means someone else has to be in the van, etc., um, and to build from there. And I then explored the idea of, of expanding my business. Um, I spoke to my friends who run businesses. I spoke to um, business mentors and all this sort of stuff. I've got sort of, sort of advice from every avenue possible. And some of it was absolutely toss advice, to be honest with you. And some of it was you know really, really good. So I ultimately then cherry picked from that as to the best ideas, you know, to, you know, ethically, legally, and all that sort of stuff grow a successful business um and then the goal then shifted then was to think to myself right well i want to slowly take myself out of the business in terms of working on the tools i'll have you know look at doing the admin i'll look at doing the payroll uh, advertising social media all that sort of stuff i can take that all on myself but i need to bring someone else in and as luck would have it again you know you put these things out into the universe and they do <clears throat> excuse me you put these things out into the universe and ultimately, um, opportunities will come your way. That sounds corny as anything. And if you know someone had said that to me when I was 18, I'd have just point blank ignored them. I'd have laughed in the face and I'd have gone about my day. But it is, to God's honest truth, you know, the uh, it is it is just so. If you put something out into the universe, it's positive, and you you know you can effectively you know you know influence those around you, you know, and have a positive outcome for you and that person. Uh, that's certainly my belief. Take it or leave it. It is it is what, just how I think. But um, <clears throat> as luck would have it, you know, one of my window cleaning customers, um, a guy called Paul, he recently left his job as a bus driver um, because it wasn't working, you know, for flexibility for his family. I only wanted to bring in someone part time, to be honest with you, uh, initially. So I had a guy, you know, doing three uh four days a week and then i wanted another guy to do about three days a week and that was enough for me uh, to free me up and grow my business a bit more um so our goals effectively aligned and he decided and he asked me if i you know um you know if, if i had any work going and i was like so well, i can certainly use a driver uh, and obviously being a bus driver he had all the licenses and all that sort of stuff he'd been driving for yonks and it cost me next to nothing to put him on the insurance and, and, went, and I went from there. And then it got to the point where ultimately, you know, where we are right now, um, four day, three day, sorry, three days a week. So Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I tend to operate um, the social media, do the YouTube video. I will do um, customer invoicing. I will do social media, etc. And I'll spread that evenly between sort of Monday and Wednesday. Thursdays and Fridays, I operate on the tools, uh, and if there are any bigger jobs, um, such as gutter clearing or deep cleans, etc., then I can do those on my own in the second van, um, as and when I see fit uh, between Monday and Wednesday. So ultimately, very flexible as a business, very lucrative, and it's uh, it's doing it's doing the trick for us. And again. From there, all I really wanted was to be able to say, right, well, free up a bit of time and et cetera and do that. And then I thought to myself, well, actually, I could do with franchising this because I've had young lads come to me and ask me how I got started. And this is why, ultimately, they prompted me to sort of do these YouTube videos, which is, you know, because it could benefit young people wanting to start their own business. So, yeah. Um, and now we're at the point now where I'm looking at, effectively at franchising my business to the point where someone the other side of the country can trade under estuary cleaning to do window cleaning um, under a framework um, and effectively have my backing and a safety net around them so that they can learn lessons um, from me that I learned the hard way <laughs> uh, 
Um, and yeah, and basically we can both effectively, you know, flourish together. And uh, yeah, so that's ultimately where we're at. For the last two weeks, I've been looking at sort of smashing um, franchising, looking at agreements and all this sort of stuff, looking at the framework and all that sort of stuff. And it's all very positive stuff. Um, but yeah, in terms of goals, the goals that exist now did not exist in the same sort of sphere as they do now. And these kinds of things do tend to take up a life of their own um, if you let them. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll endeavour to make more of them. Um, and yeah, I shall see you all when I shall see you. So uh, have a great week, everyone. I'll speak to you all later. Take care. Bye now.